On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, using props in ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com Screencast Show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So I was thinking about all the features in ProPresenter, and there's so many that you can lose track uh, if you're not careful. And I thought, you know, I've talked about props before. I know that I have, but it was in ProPresenter 5. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look at it in ProPresenter 6. If you're starting out from scratch or you just need a little refresher, this is the episode for you. As you know, ProPresenter is built on the idea of layers. So different things reside in different layers and different layers have different abilities. So just because something is designed to do one thing, doesn't mean that that's the only thing you can uh, do with it. So let's take a look at props, for example. So if you don't have a props icon right in through here, you can add it, of course. But what we're going to do is instead we're going to go to View and then Props. And you'll notice that the shortcut is Control. That's what this little, it's called a carrot, Control. P. So I'm going to go to that and you'll see that I get this props dialog. Now uh, I have mine set to where I can move it around but if I wanted to have it permanently anchored just clicking this little box up here permanently anchors it up there or unanchors it. It's a toggle. So I like to leave these things floating around where I can put them wherever I want. So that's the way that that is. So you'll see that there are four props that I've already created and these props, most people think of props as like the bug, the little graphic you see on a television station and that's a great use for it. You could have one for your church, let's say your church's logo always shows up in the corner, great use for it. But that's not the only use. Here, let's create one and uh, we can go from there. So uh, the first thing I did, I clicked to open the editor and you'll notice that this looks like just your regular slide editor. I add one in, I have now a new prop. So I can put anything in the prop window that I could um, put in a slide. So it could be a live video from a camera, it can be a pre-recorded video, it could be a still. Let's draw a shape here, shall we? And we're just going to use these uh, curves here and pull up the Bezier handles to do something. And, of course, this isn't really all that interesting, but just for giggles, that's what we're going to put up here. And so now I have this right here in ProPresenter. So uh, let's actually change that background to white. Now let me undo that. Let's actually undo that. So... I have that there. There it is. So what is the advantage of this? Well, let's again go back into props. I'm going to this time do the keyboard shortcut of control P and that brings that up and you'll notice that, um, let me expand that out, I have all these props. Props 5 wasn't there before so that's this one and you'll notice that we see this curve here. Now the advantage of this is it will stay up until it's removed. So I can 
put that there and you can maybe just barely see it but it is still there now if I get rid of the background it's still there if I put this text there it's still there if I change the text it's still there if I go to a foreground video okay so that is still there so the foreground video did knock it out but that's one of the exceptions so let's again bring open the props and go to props 5 so if I left the props here because I can add multiple props if I wanted to if I had those there I can clear them all by clicking this little props icon with the X on it or I could add a add media queue um, yeah that's what I want to do and just a second while this oops that's not what I wanted to do cancel that real quick so add queue not add media queue silly me so I could go to the queue uh, palette and I could add a clear all that would take that away um, etc I could do the interactive queue I could have a prop show up at a certain time so that's something else that I could do or with this up you'll notice there's an X by each of these as I X out one and I don't have to do them in any specific order so it's whatever's appropriate as I X them out they go away so I really have a lot of control here and that's some of the things that you can do with props you can um, remember that they continue on unless they're replaced in the case in this case by a foreground video which I'm not 100% certain that that is the normal behavior it could be that that is actually a glitch in this particular release of uh, Pro 6 so I'd have to do a little bit more research on that but that's what props do in ProPresenter 6 well I hope that helped you I hope that uh, now you're familiar with what you can do with props the limitations and the advantage of what it can do and uh, that helps you in what you're doing at your church if you like this content you'd like my email newsletter so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com gifts and pick up a free church tech gift of your choosing along with an episode uh, along with a free copy of uh, my email newsletter where I give you exclusive content that you can't find anywhere else. Also head over to my store trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store for church tech training resources created with you in mind. Finally don't forget if you have any questions or comments just leave them below the video and uh, if you're subscribed to the video podcast then just head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com and leave your comment anywhere there that's fine until next time this is paul allen clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com go out and change eternity